today at BBC Five Live. Uh, it's thought today's the day we're most likely to give up on all of those. Uh, it's less than three weeks into the new year. So what, why is it that this is peak week, Will? Uh, Lavina Mehta is with us, who is a personal trainer and wellness clo- uh, coach. Lavina, thanks so much for being here. Morning, Lavina. Good morning. Have you made a New Year's resolution or are you wise enough in, in all things New Year to, to, to just not do that? Um, I'm trying to get people to try and bring exercise as part of their daily lifestyle. So myself, I haven't actually made any major resolutions, just I'm trying to look for sustainability and ways I can just keep it going through the year so that um, people don't quit today. So personally, I'm just carrying on with my daily lifestyle. Which Lavinia, you're perfect. What, what you're saying is you're too perfect already. <laughs> so- no, no, I've been through my own <laughs> wellness journey. I know how hard it is, trust me. Um, I've lost a lot of weight. I'm a mum of three. Um, I was juggling, obviously, kids and work. So I do know how hard it is, trust me. So what you're saying, though, is it makes in absolute sense is that probably we set our bar far too high and go in yeah. far too hard in January. What we should be aiming to do is small stuff incrementally changing exactly. our lives. Exactly. So what I've got some sort of top tips. My brand is obviously feel good with Lavina. I do want people to feel good with exercise. And exactly what you said, starting off small. So um, I'm introducing this year a concept called exercise snacking, which are short snack size bouts of just 10 minutes of exercise a couple of times a day can make a massive difference and help you hit the government guidelines. Now, it's interesting you say that because there's been a lot of talk recently, talk that I like, I must say, that says that, you know, doing a bit of hoovering, uh, tidying up a few clothes, putting out the washing, that that. That roughly equates. Yeah, so anything that's going to raise your heart rate and get you into that aerobic zone, we want to try and hit 150 minutes across the week. It sounds a lot, but if you try and get it into these short snack-sized bouts, I'm talking about 10 minutes, a couple of times a day, it could be housework, it could be if you're working, just going and taking a nice brisk feel-good walk at lunchtime, which will make you feel good. You could take the stairs instead of the... Um, elevators and lifts and you could also try and incorporate into your commute by maybe cycling or walking and getting off a couple of stops early Um, and also I also want people to try and start strength training Mm -hmm. so that is something you can can do without a gym membership you can just have a look um, on my instagram at feel good with lavina i have got some short workouts so i'm trying to encourage people to do things Uh, at home do you know maybe without equipment as well i've been been doing a few weights recently and i i find it amazing how weak i am (laughs) particularly what is the one where you you're you're lying back on the bench and you've got the you've got you literally lift you know the proper kind of is that a bench press press? is that what you call it my god i love the fact that you didn't know that i'm so bad at that (laughs) it's 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 almost embarrassing how bad i I get to about six or seven and then all of a sudden it just goes doesn't it your strength almost falls off a cliff do you know what i mean by that it it is tough so you do need to keep patient keep consistent that's the key message with exercise it's unfortunately not a quick fix but your muscle mass and your strength will definitely build up so just keep going Do do you think from the people you speak to you know your clients people who you have any kind of relationship with in this kind of world are there people who have willpower and people who don't can you just you know is it as simple as that and and it's actually for those people who don't have very good willpower it's actually quite difficult for them to just magic it up um obviously willpower is super hard behavior change is so difficult and obviously it takes about three months to form a new habit it's a lot about your mindset um so digging a bit deep about why you really want to do this for your body um i think the key thing is whether you've got the willpower or not is to try and find something that's fun so something that you'll really enjoy um fun is that fundamental aspect of fitness Mm -hmm. So things like maybe joining a club or being part of a group class, making fitness social can definitely help some people. So if you can't do it alone, um, get into a group, maybe um, join up with an event or a race. So um, they're saying that, you know, 88 percent of you, if you've signed up to a race in January, you're likely to be still active eight months later. So. 
Um, it is all about setting these realistic goals. Yes, so and not you... disappoint yourself because obviously as well, when you disappoint yourself, you're inclined to go, oh, what the hell, and just knock it on the head completely. Yeah, don't, don't Lavina, don't we're going to have to leave it there, but it's <laughs> lovely speaking to you and thank you very much for getting up so early. Although I suspect you're probably the kind of person that gets up very early on a Sunday anyway. True, thank yeah. you. <laughs> Lavina Mato, so who's a personal trainer and, and wellness coach. Uh, just on the subject of having no upper body strength, um, I... 